However, if they had to travel another country for business, the flight was at 5 a.m. They would probably be at the airport by 2 a.m. If they had to go for a picnic by train or by flight, then they would probably be at the station at hour early. These days, man tries to run away from worship and looks for all excuses. A pious person, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, narrates that I saw Shaitan and he said, There was a time when I used to teach people, and now people are teaching me. Allahu Akbar. It is very sad that it Fajr Jamaat at 5.15 a.m. And we are not prepared to wake up at 5 a.m. to reach the masjid on time. Even if we pray the other four prayers on time, it is stated in a hadith. Please listen carefully that Rasulullah sallallahu wasallam said, Whoever leaves their salah intentionally, their name will be written on that door of hell through which they will enter. Allahu Akbar. Allah Azzawajal forbid if you missed your salah on any occasion, perform your qada. Salah immediately and repent tearfully for the delay. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhuri channel, understand the case of Qadar Salah through the following example. You loan money from Zaid and promise to return to the following evening. However, you delay repayment by two days. Clearly, Zaid will be annoyed as you violated the promise you made on taking the loan. Regretfully, these days, many usually delay repayment. Now, in order to compensate, you should repay the loan back immediately and ask Zaid to forgive you for the delay and try to please him in some way. So, my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, you should know that if you take out a loan and do not have a money to repay, but have items such as furniture or more things in your home, you are then obligated to sell these to repay the loan. If you do not repay the loan and have not even requested for extra time to do so, each moment of yours will be full of sin. Hujjatul Islam, Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Ghazali Rahmatullahi Wali states, if a debitor can repay his loan and delays doing so far, even an hour without the permission of the creditor, he will make himself sinful and will be termed as an oppressor. Even he if he is in the state of fasting, praying or sleeping, sins will be continuously written in his book of deeds. My dear Islamic brothers and viewer of Madri channel, please realize that this is not a good habit. This is because this action is one of the major sin but people consider is to be minor. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, these days, no one take any notice for this rule. Most people do not repay loans on time in spite of being able to do so, especially traders who really make their creditors do a lot of chasing. Some traders make a new excuses to try and make the creditor giving up and others take pride in their bravery to tell the creditor to make them repay if we can. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, please realize that Allah Hazrat, Imam Ahle Sunnah, Mujaddid of the Ummah, Revival of the Sunnah, Destroyer of Bida, Scholar of Sharia, Guide of Tariqah, Fountain of Blessing, Allama, Maulana, Al Haj, Al Hafiz, Al Qari, Al Shah, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan. Alayhi Rahmatul Rahman states, whoever does not repay a loan of even about three pence in the world, on the day of judgment, he will have to repay by giving seven hundred prayers with Jamaat. When his good deeds were finished, the creditor's sins will be given to him and he will be thrown into the fire of hell. This is justice and Allah Zawajal does not forgive the right of others until the one whose rights was violated forgives. The debtor should have mercy on himself and become free of debits. My dear Islamic brothers 
and viewers of Madani channel, if the calamity of about three plans is such, whatever will be condition of those who take thousands and millions and do not pay back, obviously the prayers will jamaat that will be given in compensation will be prayers that were accepted in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhuri channel, we do not even know whether we have any accepted prayers in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhuri channel, since we are discussing the topic of loans, an important point to bear in mind is that if someone takes a loan from you and is not able to repay the loan, on the agreed date, do not get angry. You will get a daily reward of giving that amount money of charity. Subhanallah. For example, you gave someone a loan on the 7th of 1000 pounds and he promised to return it to you by the 12th. If that person returns the money to you on the 28th without having asked you for an extension, you will be rewarded for giving 1,000 pounds daily to charity. So for the 16 day delay, you will gain a reward of giving 16,000 pounds in charity. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. A man uh, once told Allah Hazrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala that he had given a loan to someone who was not returning it. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala said to give debit in this age and to expect it to be repaid is a very difficult thing. People owe me 1500 rupees. When giving them the loan, I decided that if they repaid it, it would be good. But I would not remind them. To date, none of them are showing signs of repayment. When I give such loans, I do not make them the owner of the money because the hadith states, when one is own money, and the agreed date of written passes, he gets a daily reward of donating the amount of loan. Subhanallah. Then Allah Adra says, that is why I gave the money as a loan and not a gift. How would I be I able to donate 1500 rupees daily? What a special mind he have. What a madani, you know, thinking he have. So my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, after the brief discussion, on loan. Let us return to our topic. Sayyidina Ibrahim bin Adam alayhi rahmatullahi alayhi said to the person seeking a cure for sins that he should ask the angel of death Sayyidina Israel alayhi salatu was salam give him some time to repent when he comes to take his soul. The man responded by saying that the angel would not give him time. So he was told when you know you will not be given time to repent why you are delaying repenting? Ask for forgiveness immediately. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel. When the time is up, we will definitely not be given even a moment. Allah Zawajal says in the Holy Quran, Para 28, Surah Munafikun, verse 9. Translation by Kanzul Iman. This is translated by Allah Hazrat, Imam Ahl Sunnat. Mujaddid of the Ummah, Revivalist of the Sunnah, Destroyer of Bidah, a Scholar of Sharia, Guide of Tariqa, Fountain of Blessing, Al-Lama Maulana Al-Haj, Al-Hafiz, Al-Qari, Al-Shah, Imam Ahmad Rada Khan. The translation is, O oh people who believe, may not your wealth or your children cause you to neglect the remembrance of Allah Azzawajal. And whoever does this, so it is they who are in a loss and spend from what we have provided you before death approaches any one of you and he then says, Ya Allah Zawajal, why did you not give me respite for a little while so I would have given charity and become of the worshiest. Tubu ila Allah, astaghfirullah, sallu ala al-habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, when the time of death arrives, we will ask for more time by saying, O Allah Sawajal, why did you do not give me more time to spend in your ways so that I could be a part of the righteous? At the time of death, if someone says, 